um, my contacts in Iraq have been very quiet. So I think we're on the verge of this, guys. I just got home. Guys, thank you for giving me some time. I will get back to your emails after I do this. I'll try to get back to you before my 4 p.m. margaritas and manifestations. But I wanted to get through the intel so we can just have some fun at 4 because it's Friday night. And these are my new readers. They just came in. I hope you like them. They're just a different take on the reading glasses. I think they're kind of funky, and I like them. They're called peepers, and I love them. Um, I'm not asking for unsolicited advice. I just love them as a reader instead of those black ones that my husband gave me from the firehouse. So I just wanted to get some peepers so that I can read and still look, you know, different like I like to look. So be you, be true, be bold is on my wall. So you got to be yourself, guys. Be authentically yourself. I'm sitting here with my dogs. I had to give them some love. I didn't leave them for very long. Came straight home. Um, Dale, thank you for your time, and I appreciated meeting, meeting Gordy. They met with me because they were thinking of a way they could possibly help me deal with everybody. So we're in discussions about that, so maybe I have some new things to help you guys with, I don't know, to keep up with the emails and stuff. But I will get back to your emails today, I promise, um, even though it's probably, well, I can't really promise. It might not be today, but it doesn't matter because we've got the weekend because it hasn't happened yet, right? So... If it happens over the weekend, you'll be prepared. Remember, God's going to give me the bridge strategy, so there's no worries. Um, and for anybody who got offended from my, I kind of ranted this morning, guys. I was triggered late last night, and and the vestiges showed up in this morning's live. But it was also a good witness. How do you recover from triggers when you, whatever, when you have a response to it? So you can go watch that live yourself. You'll see it. It's in the first 20 minutes. 23 minutes was the first 23 minutes, and I intermittently off and on went how to deal with it because I'm over I'm still overcoming narcissistic abuse and I'm seeking professional help I am I'm gonna seek counseling but it, you know I'm not gonna do that today I got some resources that my husband just found this morning for me and I'll be calling them but not today I got to get you this intel got to keep moving forward guys we all do we do the best we can and then we let go of the rest so forgive me father for all my sins and thought word and deed I ask forgiveness for anybody that I offended this morning Lord Jesus, we come before you to collectively receive your forgiveness, and we ask that you preside over this intel segment. Amen. God bless. Um, so Frank 26, Iraq boots on the ground report. Firefly, television is showing. Sudani is asking questions about $57 trillion that was left over from the 23 budget, and nobody seems to know where the money is. There is no end to the corruption. Obviously, our leader, Sudani, is protecting the monetary reform by not exposing the new exchange rate to these bad people. And that's probably smart if there's still bad people in the mix. Militia Man said it confirmed the article. It confirmed its commitment to money laundering standards. The Iraqi National Bank, we do not deal with companies suspended by the central bank. Does this article give anyone the impression that the CBI or the government would have allowed for over half of the country's money supply to be stolen or disappeared? Uh, thinking about that insan thinking about the insanity that would be at this stage and level of banking the CBI is at today with having the lineup of the most professional auditors in the world auditing Iraq's books, let alone the U.S. Treasury, the U.S. Fed, the International Monetary Fund, uh, the World Bank, the United Nations, etc. It wouldn't happen. So, guys, this may be a particular glitch. But don't worry, God has affirmed to me that this is done. Keep the faith, guys, because without faith as a mustard seed moves this mountain. This mountain is being moved. Mark Z said the UN sees progress in Iraq's anti-corruption efforts and lists recommendations. The UN seems pretty happy with all the efforts they've made in Iraq. Here's your attaboy. This is actually important to see all the sanctions go away in Iraq being free and clear to change values on the word state. I'm glad you pointed that out today, Mark. Bruce. We had rates that were flashing on the bank screens over the weekend. Now what has to happen is these rates that have been flashing need to come in and solidify and go hard green because if they are flashing, they're not going to be exchanging. But once they solidify and get to a hard green state, that's when you know you've got a fixed rate to work with. I, I wanted to do this segment to bring in the intel providers that aren't always highlighted here, but Friday's a good day to bring in a lot of different intel. So if you don't like the intel, just save your criticisms, guys, because I'm presenting everybody's intel, including my own independent people from Iraq. Um, Newshound guru Deep Woods, they've changed the rate without budgets before. No reason they can't do it at all to start a float. The key here is the size of the budget and the international standards being applied, along with the upgraded banking systems. They have a plan. Watch them work it. They appear to be pushing hard in the right direction. I agree. Also, Mark Z from yesterday said, I missed what the estimates of the currency rates were. Could you give a refresher? Mark Z, no one knows for sure. I, th I wanted to include this, but the rumors are, I have the most faith in are around $4 for the Iraqi dinar. 225 for the dong. We have seen rates for the dinar close to $5 recently and close to $3. Okay, so listen, close to $5. Um, 
You remember, you remember what the good Lord had me decreeing and declaring in our step two, 486. Guys, it's happening. I'm so excited. God is good, guys. Your mouth has power. Be decreeing and declaring that the Iraqi dinar is revalued. And you watch it and see what happens. Just keep. I fasted until 1.30 p.m. today. So I'm doing my best. I'm fasting and praying. What are you doing to help bring this in? Please comment down below. What are you doing? In fact, I'm going to have another one of my shakes. And don't get mad at me because I got a little bit of a headache. I've been fasting a lot to bring this in. I needed that militia man the iraqi budget is moving forward moving toward publishing and dispers dispersing money without pre presidential approval there is no need for presidential approval to approve the budget schedules as the budget law was passed in june of 2023 when it was approved then it allowed for the government to amend the budget the HOR gets to distribute the operational and investment expenses, allocations, and financial due to ministries, institutions, bodies, and government agencies, in addition to dispersing to the government dues that are specified in the budget tables. In other words, their budget is already approved, so they can make changes and move forward. Guys, again, as somebody who used to man at budget, <laughs> used to be an auditor with Pricewaterhouse. After that, after my parents' untimely death, I was so destroyed. I left my only career that I loved as an auditor with Price Waterhouse, uh, gave up my manager spot and, and moved out into corporate America where I managed budgets and all the financial operations as a controller for many public companies that were audited, okay? I used to run the audits, okay? Except my last job was the director of financial planning for a division of Cigna. So I know a little bit about budgets and uh, they're, 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 all they are is guidelines. If sometimes you meet it, sometimes you exceed it. If they change the rate, they will exceed their budget expectations. Does that make sense? Amen. Amen. They're going to keep this under wraps, guys. They're not going to come out and say, we're going to exchange it tomorrow. We're going to change it. This. It's just going to happen overnight. I'm just saying. This is the Energize Go. I'm drinking that because I fasted so long. I already had my basic nutrition, but I'm adding this for the afternoon. Why? Because I'm going to come live at 4 o'clock and do a Margaritas and Manifestations. And I want to be peppy for my husband. So I'm doing the Energize Go in the, in the afternoon. That's the Energize Go. This is the flavor. It's ras. What is it? It comes with all the one-click packages. It's blue raspberry flavor, and it's really good by itself. You should try it. Oh yeah. And I, you could, you can um, have it stronger tasting if you use less water or, or um, more water down. With more, I, I like it in this bottle because it. I don't know. I just like this bottle. I like this amount of water. So, walking stick, Iraqi bank friend, Akai, highest level banking meeting update. Sudani is putting contracts in place to implement inside of Iraq. Sudani has been doing this with thousands of contracts. In the coming days is what they told us, that these contracts will be fulfilled in Iraqi dinars for most of the budget projects. Those contracts will be fulfilled for their value, but paid in IQDs only. Remember, they've been de-dollarizing. They've been getting rid of millions of dinar all the time. I've been reporting on that consistently. Um, Samson. A parliamentary challenges the budget schedules before the federal government document. Jeff, the budget is unconstitutional and appeals have already been filed with the court. The court is going to step in and be overturned. Well, yeah, we've heard that before <laughs> with a lot of things. If you remember that, it's going to be overturned. <laughs> just, just a little break in sanity. We don't know what really what's going to happen, guys. Nobody can tell. How many times have you heard things and it never come to pass, right? That's why you can't worry about the future. To leave each day in a day tight compartment. Have fun. Join us at 4 o'clock if you've been stressed out. Join us. We'll have a cocktail. We'll talk about the insanity and you won't be alone. Right? We're no, 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 sure alone. Do you like my glasses? I love them. I think they're fun. They hit against my, <laughs> I don't think people that wear these types of glasses do not wear these types of hats. Here, I can just take the hat off. Maybe that works. But I wanted to remind you, this is, this is my moniker, no matter what happens. Okay? Enough said. Uh, Guru Claire, budget schedules were not published today. That was Wednesday. The, get, the Gazette comes out. This is my summary for the week, right? Uh, Charlie OK said it would be very hard to have a contract if you don't know what you're going to be paid. More than likely, the companies with the contracts already know what the rate is. The contract would have to be subject to an agreed rate certain, and in order to be able to agree to amount, they will agree to be paid in consideration for their services. We all know that they did 17 memorandums of understanding with various countries in the U.S., Saudi Arabia, Britain. You know, so memorandums of understanding, meaning they can't give you the rate yet. So everybody's waiting for this. It's not just us. 
But guys, I am particularly excited because the good Lord, the Holy Spirit has been telling me this is done. So I am going to help you at 4 p.m. if you want to join me. I'm going to help you manifest this. Would you like to join us? Please do. Just all you got to do is subscribe and make sure your bell is tapped so you'll be notified when uh, I go live. It should be around 4 o'clock. I love you all. Peace. God bless.